channel, I'll be talking about whatever I fucking want. Trayvon Sellers, whose online alias is What's Up Trey, responded to the homeless man controversy video called Feeding the Homeless in LA. And let me be the first to say that his shitty response ain't even good. He changed his Instagram video caption four days ago. The same video that was originally on his YouTube Shorts, which he shortened it to 55 seconds because YouTube Shorts are only one minute long. He posted that full video on Instagram over two months ago, same as his YouTube Short, but this time his Instagram Reels video was only one minute 30 seconds long, but I can only show the screenshots since I can't download it on my video to show you that full video. But I'll read what it says. This video has been trending around the internet recently and I want to uh, clean it, clear the air on it. And this entire video is scripted and the man you see in it is a friend and local of my community. His name is Israel Pope. I asked him beforehand Beforehand is all one word, not two words, by the way. If we could make this video, and he agreed to be in it. I gave him some money and some food before we started recording. The clip you are seeing shows me eating the sandwich and walking away, but that's not the full video. I buy another meal and come back to the spot he and he left like we told him to. We then gave the upper meal to another guy. This was taken out of context and I was just the world to see the full video. Watch him defend his wrongful actions to deflect blame on the people who watched his video. And I'll respond to him in between each take he makes. All right, I wanna say this again for people who do not read my description on my last video. No one cared if you wrote it or not. The burger Wendy's video with the homeless guy was fake. His name is Israel. He was known around the neighborhood. My friend knew him. He said, yo, Israel, hey, can we get, can we get you in this video? Can we get you in the skit? He said, yes, everything was scripted. It was a fake video. I'm not going to apologize because you guys don't like my fake video. Okay, well, that still doesn't make it right to have Israel Pope, your friend, to pretend to be a homeless man. You should take accountability for your actions, and the only way you're going to do that is to apologize. The same people getting mad are the same people who were mad at the Jeffrey Dahmer actor who played him in the series. I don't even care that much about the Netflix series about Jeffrey Dahmer. That comparison is stupidly super irrelevant to the current controversy of you making a fake homeless man prank. There is no reason to be sending me death threats, getting upset, sending me hate over a skit. Just because you didn't like the skit doesn't mean you gotta hate me. It's that simple. I don't know what else. I don't condone any hate and death threats towards a minority, especially if they're black like you. But at the same time, if people are going to criticize you for doing what you did wrong for clout, then that's on you. What y'all want to hear? I don't know what else y'all wanted me to explain. It was a skit. It was a scripted video. We went back and got him food. We said, bro, but when we come back, walk away. He left as we told him to. We already gave him food ahead of time. We already gave him food after. Why the fuck would you give your friend Israel Pope food two times? That just seems like a waste amount of wasteful amount of food to be home, to be honest, because if you gave it to him before the filming of your Feeding the Homeless in LA video and after the filming of your Feeding the Homeless in LA video, 
wouldn't be wasteful spending? A lot of the videos you're watching were cut and edited to under one minute. The whole video is like a minute and 30 seconds. You're watching a clipped and edited version. And I don't care about any of y'all in my DM saying, oh, I don't like your video, fake or not. I don't care. It's like watching a TV show. You don't like the role, you don't like the script, then don't watch it. It's that simple. My question is this. Why would you upload a 55 second clip on your YouTube shorts then? Because if you gonna accuse anyone who actually downloaded your 55 second shorts video for all of Twitter to see, you, the one that started uploading on your channel for me and everyone to see. So once again, um, if you don't like dark humor, you don't like edgy humor, you don't like R-rated humor, maybe don't follow me or subscribe or watch me. Okay then, by this logic, don't upload the 55 second part of the video in your YouTube shorts in the first place. I know I'm with, watch it. It's just that simple. Dark humor has been an overused topic on the internet for two decades now, and as much as I or anyone else like dark humor, that feeding the homeless in LA video ain't really dark humor. It's just pure trash. I didn't tell these accounts and pages to clip and cut my video. They did that on their own will. So like I said, you're critiquing me and criticizing me for a video that I made and I did not cut or edit. It's pointless. I it's pointless. You're right about that part. But what you're not right about, Trayvon sellers, is that these other online accounts who posted your video, it's the same 55 second clip you posted on your YouTube shorts. Fucking moron. These accounts didn't need to clip it on their own. They downloaded this exact video link from your YouTube channel that you made and that you did cut and edit to fit on your YouTube short section because that video was too long for it. And if you have anything to say about Israel being homeless, Israel is a drug user. Did we use Israel because he was doing drugs? No, he was already doing it. He, we didn't know he had a meth pipe. We just went around the corner and said, yo, Israel, sit here. Came around the corner, he was smoking his meth pipe. We, I didn't, I, so don't act like, oh, we posted because he was smoking meth. No, we didn't really care. He could have had a meth pipe, he could not have. We still would have posted regardless. We even asked him, yo, is this good? Can we post this? Are we good? And we paid him for his likeness in the video as well. I don't give a fuck if Israel is a drug user. That's his business. And you said that he should pretend to be a homeless man. That's just mocking the real dreadful situation of the homelessness. That's not right. Those are real people who deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. Not to be used as a trend. You're gonna make a video about the homeless people who need to be cared for. Then go ahead and make their day better. But if you're gonna make a video about the homeless people and pretend to stage a prank by hiring your friend to be acting like a homeless man, please end your YouTube career and go work at Wendy's. You ain't good for this YouTuber stuff. At the end of the day, what's a trade? The fact that you defended yourself by blaming the people who watched your video and then falsely blamed the online accounts who obviously downloaded from your YouTube shorts that you claimed about any proof that they edit the footage when in reality you did that and then let your friend pretend to be a homeless man plus you making a false comparison from the actor who played as Jeffrey Dahmer to your situation as to why the people got mad and cry about getting hate and do wasteful spending, 
as well as not taking criticism very seriously because you don't want to improve and grow as a person, then you're being complacent. Take responsibility for your own actions too. Stop deflecting blame on others who, who called you out and blame yourself for the wrongful actions you've caused. You're the main reason why some YouTubers like you are scumbag cloud chasers who will never make it in the YouTuber scene. You will never be the next Mr. Beast or the next PewDiePie. You will forever be stuck as a small YouTuber forever if you don't change the way you do pranks. Pranks are supposed to be harmless, not heartless.